one week of groceries, guys, one week of groceries. So this is hurting, it's hurting a lot. Hey there, so we are back with another grocery haul. Um, so I'm currently doing my grocery pickup. I just left from getting groceries inside the store and holy moly y'all, groceries have gotten so expensive. And it's really hard whenever you have all these dietary restrictions because you know we're gluten free, we're dairy limited, um, we are limit. Like I have kids who can't have oats, kids who can't have peanuts, and so it's just it's overwhelming. By the way, if you are new, hi, my name is Brittany. Um, I am a mom of four. On this channel, I do a lot of home related content, um, homeschooling, homemaking, gardening. Um, chickens, all that kind of stuff. And so if you like that kind of grocery hauls, clearly, if you like that kind of content, I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. I would love to have you. Uh, with all that being said, I am going to go ahead and fast forward to uh, the haul. Okay, so I am back home and a little bit over the shock of how much money that cost. <laughs> And so let me uh, flip around and show you. Um, as usual, I will have the meal plan at the very end along with the totals. I'll do the totals and then I'll do the meal plan for anybody who's interested on what we're eating. Okay, so over in here, still have kids on the gluten challenge. So we've got a um, pack of wheat bread. I've got 18 eggs underneath that. Um, we went through our sodas a little bit too quickly. Um, so this week we're gonna get back on track and just have um, one soda or one soda a week. Grapes for snacking, our hot dogs for our burger night for the kids who don't like burgers, some lettuce. Um, my husband likes to do the his hamburger in a lettuce wrap. And then I'm gonna try again with salads. With my celiac disease, I have a hard time digesting um, greens. And so I keep on trying every once in a while to see if I've healed enough. And so far the answer is no. So hopefully we're there. Raisins for snacking, potatoes for some dinners our standard whole chicken and dill for we're gonna make some pickles with the cucumbers from the garden um i've got some blackberries were on sale ham for um lunches uh cheese for burgers and sandwiches apple juice a pineapple um and then i grabbed a sweet potato because i love just a plain sweet potato for lunch. And I figure one day when the kids are having one of their like snacky lunches, I can have a sweet potato. Um, then I have two um, onions for dinners. I've got some garlic in here. I've got some zucchini, which I was very little salty about whenever I had to go buy zucchini and I had several zucchini plants that were doing great. And then squash vine borers. Um, so we normally do brownies on Friday, but I'm getting, letting my kids have a treat. I'm being a fun mom this week, y'all. Um, and so I let them, I'm letting them have Oreos. <laughs> All my kids are very happy with me because I also got some cereal. I normally don't do cereal because I give my kids cereal and then they're hungry in like an hour. But, um, we have not had enough muffins to our leftover muffins on Mondays. And so I'm letting them have cereal this Monday until I can figure out a replacement. And so everybody's happy with mom today. Um, pinto beans, uh, like I said, y'all, big bag of pinto beans. I didn't get it from Costco, but there you go. Um, some masa for our uh, corn tortillas. And then I have, these were on sale. These were 99 cents a pound. And so I have, I got drumsticks and thighs. I got two of each. Um, we were adopted by a kitten, so I have kitten food. Um, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, you should do so. My um, Instagram handle will be in the description box. But I mentioned over there that we had a kitten that our neighbors down the street aren't able to care for anymore. And um, so she is adjoining our other cat outside. So we are going to have um, another kitten around here. And before y'all come at me about having a kitten outside, we have allergies. And it was better than her going to the pound. So corn for uh, dinner. Uh, hamburger buns for burgers tonight, applesauce pouches, and somewhere in here, ah, there it is, is a whole thing of applesauce. 
these are for park and car rides and then this is for at home three gallons of milk two for drinking one for yogurt you all know the drill i also bought a yogurt because i did not make my yogurt in time and i missed my yogurt so i'm making yogurt tonight but it won't be ready until uh tomorrow night and so i'm gonna have my yogurt in the morning half and half for coffee um i accidentally bought that's funny last week i was like huh i was missing a carrot and then i accidentally bought too many carrots this week so i gotta we're gonna juice a little bit extra this week um cauliflower for a side one night butter uh some coarse sea salt this did not help my grocery budget this is 23 dollars um but we like the pure vanilla because we're um vanilla snobs um some pinto bean or some refried beans which i am going to start trying to make my own refried beans um and then just have a can of pinto bean speak for me refried beans in the pantry just in case um i have gluten-free crackers and then regular crackers these are not the crackers i like but they were out of the crackers that I like. And so those are just going to have to work. And we've got mayonnaise and mustard because we were out. Potato chips for our sandwich day. Veggie straws for other days. I have some almond milk back here for my kids who can't have regular milk. Big thing of paper towels. Apples. Uh, these two, my husband and I each have one as a treat on Saturday mornings. Um just because it's fun. I have some command strips. Oh, that's all the food, by the way. Uh, so now I have some command strips. I'm gonna put these inside the bathroom cabinets because I have rags hanging up to just randomly wipe down the counters as we're in there, but I don't like them hanging up next to my hand towel. And so I'm gonna put these inside the cabinet so I can hang them up inside there. Some little clips for my five-year-old. A comb for mama. I've been wearing my hair curly and I need a white tooth comb. Um, we are gonna try these natural deodorants. We have been using the native ones and I love the native deodorants, but I do not love the price tag. So these are like half the price, which scares me. So my husband and my son are gonna try them out and tell me if they're terrible. Um, and then we have baking soda. Also gotta get that from Costco because that is, that is not enough baking soda for me. I need a big thing of baking soda. I use baking soda for everything. Vinegar for laundry, pickling, cleaning, etc. I think that's it. Whoop! Out of there. Bad. Okay. Ooh. All right. So, moving on to the meal plan. So, while I say, oh, wait, no. Totals first. So, while it was a lot of money, I also got a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff, like a lot of big ticket items. Um, and I feel like groceries are just expensive right now. And I got a lot of sale meat, so we'll be good on some meats for a while. So my, if I can remember this, my pickup total was 162 and then 95, six, seven, somewhere in there from in store, all in $258. One week of groceries, guys, one week of groceries. So. This is hurting, it's hurting a lot. So I have to sit down and really reevaluate. I'm wanting to get into budgeting so that I can actually log everything and see what our grand total is over a whole month. Because like I said, we buy sale meats when they're on sale. We buy things in bulk. So I don't exactly know how much we're spending a month. And so I really wanna narrow it down so that way we can see if there's anywhere we can like suck it in a little bit, gotta suck it in. Moving on to the meal plan. Um, now that I've given you our totals. All right, so if you're new around here, um, we meal plan Saturday to Friday. I also meal plan for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because otherwise it gets nuts with um, how much we're eating. And so believe it or not, I could spend more money. Saturday, we are having pancakes and eggs for breakfast. Uh, lunch is a snack lunch. And dinner will be chicken fajitas with refried beans. Sunday is our chocolate chip muffins. Um, you choose lunch, which is a self-serve lunch. And then we're going to have ribs with potato salad. 
and probably the cauliflower. Um, I also don't assign the vegetables. I buy enough vegetables for the week and then whatever I'm feeling like feeding this that week, that day is what gets served. Monday, uh, like I said, breakfast is going to be cereal. I might make some smoothies also. Um, we've got a bunch of bananas in the freezer to go with that to kind of fill everybody up a little bit. We're gonna have um, sandwiches and chips for lunch and then chopped beef baked potatoes for dinner and some vegetable to go with that, haven't said yet. Eggs and toast is gonna be for Tuesday breakfast. Then we'll do uh, bean and cheese tacos. I may make meat this week because we did bean and cheese last week, so we might do include meat with that. Um, chicken with roasted potatoes and a vegetable are gonna be, is gonna be Tuesday's dinner. Wednesday is going to be our almond loaf with a snack lunch and then leftovers for dinner. Thursday is again, eggs and toast for breakfast, sandwiches and veggie straws for lunch, and then pinto beans for dinner. Friday is oatmeal, nuggets and veggie straws for lunch, and burgers and fries for dinner. I should also add when I do breakfast and lunch, I do offer fruit with that. So um, it's not just, it's, it's a more wrap, it is a more well-rounded meal than just like chips and sandwiches or nuggets and, you know, veggie straws. With all of that being said, that is all I got. Like I said in the beginning of this video, um, I do a lot of home related content on my channel. I have grocery hauls. I also have um, home schooling stuff, home making stuff, gardening, chickens, all of that jazz. So if any of that is of interest to you, I hope you will consider sticking around and subscribing. Um, I would love to have you. <gasps> Until next time. Bye guys.